give y'all a chance to hear Brother Ren sing, and then we're going to shout out all the cash apps. <gasps> Mr. Jack, <laughs> you already know, man. Church is definitely in the building. They okay. fucking with me, though. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch here. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch, church on the bitch. Church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, see church on the bitch, see ya, church check in, uh, church on the bitch, oh, church on the bitch, see ya, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, uh, church check in, let's go. Minister Jack, it's a new era and niggas is chat. I'm in the kitchen, I'm cooking this crack. Biscuit in text and my Benjamin static. Truck in the front and the engine in back. Three K's, everything I'm whipping in is black. Three holes all wanna sit on my lap. High yellow heifer, I'ma hit her from the back. This is a fact. I'm taking your bitch, I'm not giving her back. Bitch got some kids, I'm not dealing with that. The back of her throw where my children is at. Now what's really the next? Her mama's a hoe and her sister's a rat. The head was amazing, the pussy was trash. Run up on church and then pistol gon' blast. Get your ass body trying to get to this bag, nigga. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch here. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch, church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, see church on the bitch, see ya, church check in, uh, church on the bitch, oh, church on the bitch, see ya, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, listen, church check in, let's go. Relinquish the bitch You loving and cuffing to be with the bitch She came in with you but I leave with the bitch yeah. I bang and I bang and I skeet on the bitch They be like Jabba conceited and shit I push it to start, ain't no key to my whip Believe in the game, don't believe in the bitch I listen to sin and the rest of the pips You chasing the bitch and ain't chasing the check You look like a bitch when you making them threats You talk how you talk cause you safe on the net When I see you, no talking, I'm breaking your neck Catch a nigga like I do, I'm dirty on sight Whole lot of bargain but I bet he won't bite Better nigga won't roll a dice with his life Double cross church, kid crucified twice, nigga Church check in, 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 church on the bitch here. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch, church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, see church on the bitch, see ya, church check in, uh, church on the bitch, oh, church on the bitch, see church on the bitch, 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 Minister Jap, I'm talking to you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I got a kid. I got, I got two daughters and a son. Yeah, man. Black women are bad mothers. And that's why you having a baby by the motherfuckers you had a baby with is your fault. That's why you being a single mother is your fucking fault. That's why being a baby daddy ass nigga is your fault. Live from the church. Church check in. It's Minister Jap. Black women, they're some of the most worst bitches on with money, but yet they're still taking trips and they look fly doing. They are the flyest broken bitches you're gonna ever deal with. On Minister Jap TV. Church check in, man. Church check in.
Sunday night. And I'm feeling right. But I won't eat it from the bike. No! No! You niggas ain't shit. Uh, I said this week, I'm just going to line up the perverts and just knock them down. You know, we just gonna really cook some purves. This <laughs> perv purge. Perv purge. What are you doing, you pervy? Perv purge, man. Ah, oh, man, I got so much. It's I got a fucking play. Y'all gonna have a purge perv playlist after this shit. <laughs> These niggas gonna need pervert protection. We coming for y'all niggas, man. Y'all better get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. All right, so tonight's topic, man, we in the church, you know, um, put these perverts. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what I say? What I say? Oh no! What I say? What I say? Put these perverts. God, my eye is watering. In prison. Put them in jail. Put these perverts in jail. Especially you baby touches. Just got wind of a nigga molesting six-year-olds. Want to come over here talking about the motherfucking church. Get out of here, you pervert! You sicko! Certified sicko! Baby mama gotta hide your kids, nigga. <laughs> niggas, <laughs> niggas, niggas shit is coming out of the out of the blue, man. Shit is crazy. Start watching these niggas talk shit online, and then they pervert paperwork comes out. They got your pervert paperwork. God. Has, what's going on with my hashtags, y'all? These niggas got pervert swag. We're going to deal with them all this week. They get no pass. Where's my hashtag? Pervert paperwork. Got your pervert paperwork right now. Got your pervert facts, nigga. Pervert purge, nigga. <laughs> These niggas crazy. But I wanted to deal with, uh, since uh, we started off uh, this morning, if you guys uh, didn't get a chance to come in, check in this morning, go back. Um, God damn, I can't remember the name of the show now. I've been, I've been doing so much shit today. But uh, we did a show a little bit earlier. Um, what was that? I hate I hate to not know what the fuck going on. I be I be I be working, y'all. Trust me, I got a lot of shit going on. What the fuck was that shit called? What the fuck? Oh my god, how the fuck did a picture of Kendra G pop up on my phone? What the fuck? That gorilla. Yeah, the hypocrisy of the homosexuals. So I figure I bring some more, to sh uh, more of the problems with the uh, with the sexes, you know. So y'all, because I want to show y'all the dark side of the sexes. Shout out to Doctor Thunder, I see you, bro. I want to show people the uh, the dark side of the sexes, because everybody always tend to think that the sexes. 
are good people. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm in Chicago. These sections here, gang bang. I don't, they, they are, they, they are renegade gang members who have been kicked out the set. They start their own set. And them niggas are still men. Well, not men, they're males. So don't think it's sweet, because he's sweet. Sweet ass nigga named Stacy. Stacy do hair and bag up ounces. Be doing hair, bagging up ounces, selling motherfucking Reggie on 73rd. Eating it for the bike, for the loud pipe. You got you gotta come harder than that for the rich, bro. Oh, you a member, so I give you a wrench. You a member. You deserve it. You're a member. Okay. You get you get a wrench. You get a wrench. Fucking her. Oh. But I wanted to show y'all some shit that's going on that went on in Chicago that was just crazy with the sections. Now I showed y'all a lot of things with the sections in um in Chicago with the trans gentlemen uh, on seventy third and um. Like hostage area, the motherfuckers was fighting and beating each other ass. The police couldn't stop the motherfuckers. I showed y'all that video. But um it it, it came across the desk, and I was like, I I, I should have been talked about it. You know what I'm saying? But um before I get into the footage, I just want to show you the article first. Um so this is out of the Chicago Sun Times, okay. Um, the title is, I got something for you. Moments later, a car traveling 60 miles an hour hits four people in front of a South Shore bar, killing three of them. All right. Now, this is, this, if you're not from Chicago, this will throw you off because this is the east side of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I grew up around this area. It was never like this. You know what I'm saying? When I was coming around here. You know what I'm saying? But this is where the plaza is. And th this area is really some serious niggas out here. You know what I'm saying? You got some real serious motherfuckers out here. Like, this area not too far from, like, where Bump J. I don't know if you ever heard of Bump J and the Goon Squad. That type of, them niggas is around here. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got a lot of niggas from East End. Like, everybody from the east side kind of meet over here. And this is kind of where motherfuckers get shot at fucking around over here. Like, this is a gay bar. And they, they're they going to advertise it in a second, but as we go through the article. But this is a gay bar in the middle of the hood. I don't know, like, back in my days, I hate to sound like an old man, but that shit just never used to happen. We didn't have shit like that uh, uh, popping up. But a lot of that shit is popping up on the east side. And, you know, I don't know what made them think that, that you know, that they should do that shit on the east side because that shit normally is on the north side. But now they starting to put that shit on the east side. They got uh, motherfuckers coming in on Stony Island, which is, you know, from Stony. See, and then there's another discussion with motherfuckers in Chicago. Um, People don't, people have this, 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 this discussion about what's really the east side of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's always been state to the lake. That's what motherfuckers say. You know what I'm saying? But then you got the niggas from Stony to the lake. They say that's the east side. You know what I'm saying? And the, uh, the, the whole rest of the city say we all east side, but I actually grew up on both sides, you know what I'm saying? Whether it was by the state, state Street side, and then it was off of Stony by the mosque. So I kind of see, I, I seen it all. The swag is a little bit more south side ish towards, the, uh, towards State Street. And they don't really have all of this. They don't have none of this. Well, yeah, they do. Because if you go past the bridge, 
Then you got like Little Dirk's neighborhood. Let me tell you, Little Dirk neighborhood got them trannies. If, if, if anybody know anything about anything, you know, 73rd, where you from? Like 73rd and Green, them trannies is over there. All right? That's just uh, truck drivers and all the motherfuckers and all them gay ass niggas be coming over there. You know, not the real truck driver, but I'm like, the motherfuckers from out of town, the perverts. They, they go over there off of like 73rd, 71st, and fucking Hostel, man. So I tell niggas, stay your ass from over there, man, because it's real weird and it's dark as fuck over there. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's dark as fuck over there. They don't got a lot of lighting. You know what I'm saying? So you might think that's a fucking uh, 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 young lady and it's a trans gentleman. But it's starting to creep its way into the, to the, to the trenches. Now, this club here, that's in this article uh, is off of Jeffrey. Jeffrey is like right off the train tracks on the east side, off the metro train. Now, this place will fool you because you won't, if you just riding around, you like, yeah, I'm I'm over east shit. It's called, it's not called like a gay name. It's not called like, you know what I'm saying, Razzles or something like that. You know, or whatever you would call a gay club, like um, Throb. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how the gay club, you hit a, like, when they shot up the, uh, the club, it was called, like, Pulse. It's just sound gay, you know? It don't sound gay. The club is called Jeffrey Pub. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, well, you could associate it with Jeffrey Dahmer, <laughs> but Jeffrey is the name of the block. It's on. So it's a Jeffrey Pub. So you like, okay, if you, if you, this will throw you off. If you left Chicago for 10, 15 years or 20 years and came back and came back. Oh, this is my old neighborhood. And you're like, oh, shit, they put a lounge over here. I'm about to walk in. And all you see is these zesty, saucy ass niggas named Stacy and John Say. It'll, it'll, throw, it'll, it'll throw you for Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So I advise any of you niggas, don't go there. You know what I'm saying? It's a pervert club. My, guess, <laughs> hey, my, my man said Jeffrey is a young thug's name. Yeah, it, it, you know what? With a name like Jeff, yo, man, I, I'm sorry. Y'all, the, any nigga named Jeffrey might want to change their name right now because the Jeffreys of the world have been bastardized by Jeffrey Dahmer and Jeffrey Young Thug. They got Jeffreys out here looking by it. They got Jeffries out here looking bad, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? But it's called Jeffrey Pub. Uh, let me scroll down. You know what I'm saying? So we can get to it real quick. Um. Okay. So it says, uh, okay. Let me go. I got my laptop over here so I can see this time. Okay. It says, as a fight broke out in front of the Jeffrey Pub earlier this month, one of the patrons yelled out, I got something from you, for you, uh, and walked up the street. Okay? The Chicago shit, these niggas is crazy. I'm telling you. Minutes later, a car came barreling down the block, reached around 60 miles an hour, and plowed into a group of people in front of the, uh, in front of the bar at 7041 South Jeffrey Boulevard in the early hours of August 14th. Uh, videos show people uh, being hurled through the air. At least one of them landed on the next block. God damn! Uh, killed were Jalen Os Osley. Jalen's a gay man. Devontae Vinitor. De Devontae's a gay man. Donald Huey. Huey is a gay name. But we can keep Donald. Shout out to Trump. Shout out to Trump. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, and a 22-year-old man was seriously injured. A week later, police say they placed ta Tavis. What is what you see? This is why y'all niggas gotta start getting your children from these bitches, because you let 
You you let these bitches name your kids, and they name these kids. What's his name? Tavis. 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 Like t you you name your kid Tavis. Tavis. Dunbar. Behind the wheel. Uh. Uh, what they don't have yet is a clear motive. Okay, now hold on. We 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 get into this. All right, you hoes gonna have to stop naming your kids these gay ass names. Okay, you know, uh, um, there's no way, there's no way you're gonna make it amongst real niggas with a name like Tavis. And why do and why? I mean, let's talk. Let's just talk, man. You know, be, I don't need y'all to be honest with me, man. Why does the 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 moist community always have a lisp? I'm a flag your channel. It's like they, I hate talking to them niggas. They they always got a lisp. I was finna say. <laughs> That's another one I hate. Excuse me? What you talking about, man? Oh, I was finna say. I was finna, I was finna say? You sucker and sucker tag, dick sucker? <laughs> what is with these niggas, man? Now, nah, what's with the list? What is with the list, man? It's like, could you stop? I mean, what do they got? Dick sucking on their mind and they just can't talk? English, you pervert English. Do you speak it? Why do they always have a back art? No bitches that don't even back our state back like that. What are you doing? That's got to be the most uncomfortable shit. You just walk around with some ashy legs and some Jordans with your back arch on the block. I'm telling you, man, these niggas is goons, man. My man's uh 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 oh my god, what, what, what's my man's name? Uh uh uh, uh, Ghetto News Network, man. You know what I'm saying? My man, Jay Hustle, man. Shout out Jay Hustle, man. That's my dog. That's my dog, man. West side of Chicago. I'm going to have to pull that video up. Matter of fact, let me, I just want to show you how, how, how the goons in Chicago, the goons in Chicago are gay. Okay? <laughs> like, they got, like, I, they, I told you, they got gay gangs. I heard they got them in DC. DC. Somebody sent me the footage. We're gonna, we gonna have to review that shit too. I want to show y'all the dark side of this community because they acting like they just getting abused out here. Ain't nobody. Trust me, niggas is not fucking with y'all. We running from y'all. We are running from y'all. Hold on. Okay. Uh -oh. Hold on. And member. Damn, I gotta find that footage, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Chicago. Ooh. Hold on, what is it? No, it was a Chicago. Mm -hmm. Exposes. That's. I think that might be what it is. I hope I can find this shit because that, that shit was fucking hilarious. Because he was like a vice lord. He told his ass, get the fuck off the set. This nigga would turn into a whole trans gentleman. He was still banging though. That's the crazy part. Was still banging though. I don't want to waste all day. If I get it, you know, we're going to be dragging them all week. So I, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'm definitely going to find it. We're going to drag them all week, though. We're going to drag them all week. Drag fest! 
Dwayne! They don't want to find this. If somebody find that... Somebody find that footage, man. Post it in the uh, chat, man. If one of the mods, somebody find that footage. But we'll get to that later, man. But uh, where did I leave off? Oh, yeah, man. These niggas arching their backs. No, I don't know. I mean, they. <laughs> oh, man. But, okay, so back to this, man. Back to this shit going on in Chicago. Uh, like I said, this is not a bullshit neighborhood. Don't get this shit twisted. This is the east side. This is where motherfuckers, I mean, they sell, you know, they selling that shit a little bit and all that, but they really rob niggas over here. Like, this is like set up city, kick dope, kick dope city. You know what I'm saying? Like, snatch up, they like, to get initiated, you got to snatch a purse first, you know? This is like real grimy. They, they shit, they call it Grimyville. It's, I think that's what bump from bump from Grimyville. So yeah, it's right over there. Because I think he like from like 69th and Crandon or 71st and Crandon. It's right over there. You know what I'm saying? It's not too far from uh 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 what G Herbo and them and um Lil Bibby and them and uh no limits and all that. You know. So it's uh it is it's uh it's a pretty pretty uh terrible area, man. Shout out to uh, JT the pocket watcher in the building. Okay, um, so going through it, say police don't believe that Dunbar had been involved in the fight, and they have no evidence that the attack was a hate crime. Uh, directed at people inside the pub, as well as, uh, as a well-known gay bar in the South Shore area. Okay, so this is why I wanted, I'm going to leave it right there because that, that's what I wanted to deal with. Every time these motherfuckers get what's coming to them or something happened, like if, if a straight person decides to do any type of harm to them, it's automatically assumed and deemed to be a hate crime. Now, I'm trying to understand, is it a hate crime when they do it to themselves? And, and for that, and for that, we're going to have to dig in and find out the definition of a hate crime. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we, we got to see what is a hate crime. Because, you know, they can't, def they, they truly can't define you know, hate speech is just so it's so fucking vague. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it says a crime typically uh, one in, uh, involving violence that is motivated by prejudice on the uh, basis of race, religion, sexual orientation, uh, or other grounds. Okay, so when you say other grounds, I mean it. It is it, everything. I mean, everything's a hate crime. It could be like, okay, so it's if it's a nigga I never liked in my whole fucking life and I decide to go take his fucking life or go beat his ass, that's a hate crime. Like, if, to, if, a, if another gay motherfucker hates you because maybe you're not gay enough, Cause like, you know, like I said, <laughs> I told you, man, this shit is getting crazy with these gays. Maybe you're not gay enough. You know what I'm saying? So maybe you gotta up your gay. Maybe you're just almost gay. So if they kick your ass, is that a hate crime? Maybe you're not gay. Like I'm I'm not gay, I'm a heterosexual. And if a gay motherfucker come kick my ass, beat me down with a bat. For not being gay. Is that a hate crime? Because there's plenty of motherfuckers that, that that got killed by gay people who were straight. But they don't deem it a hate crime. You know what I'm saying? It's super biased. And the hate crime aspect of it is like, I hate to always look at things in dope terms, but it's like 
the fentanyl of laws. You know what I'm saying? It just spikes the fucking the it spikes the uh uh the murder up. It spikes the 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 assault up. It just spikes shit up the same way the gang injunction or you know what I'm saying? Um, you know uh or, or being a uh you know being a known gang doing a crime and being a, a known gang member will spike the crime up more. You know what I'm saying? If you stole if you stole a car, it would normally probably been like three to three to five or some shit, right? But if you did it with a gang, now they're looking at, oh, we're going to conspiracy and, you know, you're an active gang member, 10, 15. So it's like, it just spikes the shit. You know what I'm saying? And they, I think that they always looking to spike up these charges with this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? By calling everything a goddamn hate crime. You know what I'm saying? And again, man, it's, uh, it's, 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 Homosexuals that actually get out here and kill straight people. So why don't they call them bigots, hate crime, criminals, none of that. They still get golden treatment in jail, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You get in trouble for whooping their ass in jail as a straight person. I've heard about that. They're protected. They're protected even when they're doing crimes. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's so fucking crazy how much we have to baby their community. And they bring, again, man, we told, we told you, they bring absolutely nothing. They don't bring peace and harmony. They're not in, they're not in the ghettos right now planting flowers. You know what I'm saying? Painting walls, showing us the rainbow. No. Right now, it's nighttime. Right now, they are popping ecstasy and mollies right now, trying to get it on in a fucking uh, uh, bathroom stall. They are they are the perpetuators of hook up culture. Damn. And they so bogus with it. They, <laughs> them motherfuckers so bogus with it. You know what I'm saying? They be doing it in their clubs. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least, at least in the heterosexual community, you know what I'm saying? The our hoes at least want to go to rooms. You know what I'm saying? Maybe want to stall out for a day. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers just pop pills, get drunk, and frolic right now, right now, right now. <laughs> Immediately. You know what I'm saying? Your monkey pox mongrels. Monkey pox motherfuckers. But I'm trying to understand, you know, why these perverts are not prosecuted to the degree they need to be prosecuted to. And why it's like, they don't look at it as a hate crime. And it, 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 they, they, they handle them with so much delicacy. So what I'm about to show you is uh, 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 the news are uh, the news uh, um, the news video of what happened when um, hold on, let me let me break it down real quick. Hold on, hold on. Where is that? Where is that video? Where is that video? Where is that video? Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm on the wrong folder. Here we go. Here we go, church. Here we go, church. Yeah, here we go. So you can see these niggas. I told you the nigga named Tavis. Hey, Tay. <laughs> hey, Tay. Tay. Oh, you gotta say it with the uh, you gotta say it with the list. Tay. Tay. Bitch, you hear me calling you Tay? So y'all, y'all niggas better get y'all, y'all better get y'all sons from these bitches. Y'all better get y'all sons, nigga.
And we begin with breaking news. More than a week after three men are hit and killed outside a popular Southside bar, the driver turns himself into police to face charges in that deadly hit and run. Good afternoon to you. I'm Lourdes Duarte. And I'm Ben Bradley. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. He's charged in that hit and run. Okay, He's a convicted felon. WGN's Dana Rubick is live at the crypt. Gay? Tave? Convicted fucking felon. I'm telling you, man. Do not put it past him, man. The LGBTQ P. <laughs> We're going to put pervert in there. Uh, they community got a lot of smooth criminals, man. Smooth criminals, man. S sassy sissies. <laughs> Succulating. <laughs> I can't, man. Criminal courts building with more on this story, Dana. Well, this defendant, Tavis Dunbar, turned himself into police yesterday morning. We're told that he had an attorney present and did not make any statements uh, to detectives at that time. Now, uh, we are told, though, he did try to change his appearance since this incident happened by cutting his hair. Oh, uh, Tay, Tay, you ain't got a haircut. You better go, Tay. You better go, Tay. Tay got it. <laughs> when they listen to him, like, Tay got him haircut. <laughs> Tay got him haircut. You better, you better stop, Tay. That was you in that car, Tay. This senseless act of violence won't be tolerated in the city of Chicago. It's always tolerated. Y'all gonna let this nigga out. <laughs> January 1st, he's, he's getting out. Didn't they say they not gonna hold you for ve uh, vehicle homicide? <laughs> Chicago's about to be the purge. <laughs> they ain't gonna suspend his license. That's how bad Chicago is. They not even gonna suspend this nigga's license. They gonna get that nigga a ticket in an eye bar and let his ass and let his ass get he gonna be back at the car dealership fighting this case. He gonna be on the he, he gonna be in the south suburbs at one of them little rinky dink ass car lots, buying a little seven thousand dollar, five thousand dollar car to get around. Cause you know the nigga sell Reggie and do hell, and he gonna be right back at it. Tavis, Tavis ain't giving a fuck. Tavis is plugged. And this arrest was the result of hard work done by the men and women of the Chicago Police Department and true community collaboration. A violent hit and run that left three men dead and another injured in front of Jeffrey Pub in South Shore. 34-year-old Tavis Dunbar is now behind bars charged with first-degree murder. Police say Dunbar was inside Jeffrey Pub that night. Okay, so he's already ruled out for being heterosexual. You were inside. <laughs> you were inside Jeffrey Pub. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the city will tell you. If anybody come to you say, yeah, I was up in Jeff. Whoa, okay, bro. All right, bro, man. Hey, man, yeah, man. I'm going to holler at you, player. I'm going to holler at you. You know, everybody know that's a no-no. I couldn't even tell you what color that motherfucker is inside, nigga. Matter of fact, if I have to ride down, uh, uh, if I have to ride down Jeffrey, I will, I will literally go all the way to shit. Where will I go? I have to go all the way down and maybe, uh, I'll try to go like shit, like four, like four blocks over. I can't think of the, uh, man, it, it shit slips my mind. Yeah. I had to like four blocks over and go around. I just, I'm not driving past that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I don't want any, I don't want any gay debris to hit my car. I don't want no gay debris to hit my car. 
A WITNESS SAYING HE WALKED OUT, PASSING THE GROUP OF VICTIMS WHO WERE FIGHTING ON THE SIDEWALK, SAYING, QUOTE, I HAVE SOMETHING FOR YOU, FOLLOWED BY AN EXPLETIVE. THE WITNESS SAYS HE SAW DUNBAR WALK TO HIS CAR PARKED A HALF BLOCK AWAY. SEE, THAT AREA RIGHT THERE IS ALWAYS BOOMING. IT'S LIKE, YOU KNOW, YOU CAN GET ANYTHING FROM YOUR NICK SACKS TO YOUR, YOU KNOW WHAT I'M SAYING, ANYTHING YOU WANT, YOU can GET IT OVER THERE, MAN. YOU KNOW WHAT I'M SAYING? Is 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 everything over there? Barber shops, chicken shack. I personally used to love it. What was what was the name of that goddamn chicken shack, man? Uh, God damn, it was like a, it was like a churches. It was some winky dink ass chicken shack that used to be over there. I forgot the name of that motherfucker. I used to love going there. They got it. They turned. I think it turned to a Giordano's now. Or something. They even tried to put a real lobster over there one time. I heard. I used to go to the dentist over there. Like they had everything over there. You know what I'm saying? Foot Locker, everything over there. You know what I'm saying? God, what the fuck? Cajun, was it Cajun Joe's? Cajun Joe's chicken? I think that's what it was, Cajun Joe's. The chicken was pretty good. And they had sides and shit, greens. A lot of niggas don't remember this. I don't know if they did it in your city, but they did it in ours. We had... The black power, <laughs> this was some of the most racist shit ever. I remember this shit growing up on East Side. This is the most racist shit you ever see in your life. Kentucky Fried Chicken was doing a trial run of this shit. It was like dashiki fried chicken, right? I bullshit you not. It was, it's right over in that same area where these motherfuckers just got killed at. It was Kentucky Fried Chicken, but when you went in there, they had greens, they had all soul food, and they had on little koofies. And they had on kente, like it was the Kentucky Fried Chicken uh, uniform, but with like kente, like print and shit on the, on the collar and all that shit. Like it was literally a fucking Kentucky Fried Chicken but like black power, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, conscious community style. Who? Anybody, dirty folks, if you in the chat, tell me if you remember that shit over East, bro. Tell me if you remember that shit. I bullshit you not. Somebody Google that shit if you can. Oh my God. That shit was fuck. That shit was so fucking racist. <laughs> and we was in that motherfucker. We was, <laughs> we stayed in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We was kids. We didn't know. We didn't know. It was, yeah, it was like Zamunda fried chicken, nigga. It was, it was literally, it was, it was a regular Kentucky fried chicken. It was owned by Kentucky fried chicken. This was a project that they was trying. And it was like, it was probably like a five or six of them in the city. And it was literally an African Kentucky fried, man, let me, I'm telling you, man. Let me find this shit on my phone. I'm gonna send it to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna airdrop it real quick. Hold on. Hold on. It was an African style Kentucky Fried Chicken. It was. It was. It was. It was. It's, I'm talking about. This is the '90s. This is the '90s, G. That shit was fucking hilarious. Damn, man. I man. Hold on. Oh, oh, I gotta press images. But them motherfuckers had the uniforms, man. It was like Zamunda, man. It was like Zamunda, man. It was everything was just like, well, they. I think they had like, they had greens, they had uh, they had dressing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Some of you motherfuckers call it stuffing. And it was like, it was like literally if Doctor Umar decided to open up a chicken shack. That's what that shit was like. That's exactly what that shit was like. You know what I'm saying? Now, let, uh, let, let, let's hit the rest of this shit. The defendant continues to accelerate as he then directs the car into the southbound lane directly at the victims, violently striking them. When the victims were struck, the defendant was continuing to accelerate and never slowed down. The black box of the defendant's car revealed that 2.5 seconds before the impact that struck the victims, the car was traveling 47 miles per hour. 0 0.5 seconds before the impact. The car had accelerated to 59 miles per hour. 23-year-old Jalen Osley, 25-year-old I'm, you know, I, I don't want to make, 
You know, I don't want to make fun of the dead, but you know, yeah, yeah, shut yous, shut yous, shut yous, man. This is why black men get your sons from that bitch, man. Get your sons. Donald Huey and 27-year-old Devante Vivitor were pronounced dead at the scene. A fourth victim, a 21-year-old man, survived and was treated for leg injuries. Detectives say after Dunbar hit the victims, he drove three blocks to 73rd and Jeffrey, where he ditched the car that was registered to his cousin and walked to a friend's house. That friend told police Dunbar had bloody hands and glass in his hair, but didn't tell him what had happened. He drove Dunbar to a female friend's house, who dropped him at a family member's home. But this is love is love. This is the pride community. You know what I'm saying? Such a great, such a great community of people doing so many great things for the world and who are so oppressed and people are just, people are just so violent to them. These motherfuckers, every time I see these motherfuckers, they fighting. Every time I see these motherfuckers, they fighting. Every time I see these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers, is, these motherfuckers aren't nice, man. Like, we, we got to stop lying to the people, lying to the public. But you guys have got to see the actual true uh, uh, uncut footage of this actual, uh, I mean, and it, it's unfortunate. I'm not, you know, I'm not condoning no murdering of them or nothing like that. But what I'm going to show y'all is the dark side of what they got going on. They are attacking each other. So for them to be worried about us attacking them, they attack each other more than anything. It's, it's sort of like the same thing I would say about the black community. We are worst enemy. The, the, the gay community, y'all, y'all own worst enemy. Y'all tell y'all self support. We don't have to say shit about you. We don't have to say nothing about you. All we have to do is just leave you alone and let y'all, y'all gonna do the rest. Y'all gonna do the rest. Y'all violence is literally on autopilot right now, nigga. <laughs> on autopilot. So this is all these people, they always gay, man. Right. Hold on, we're gonna bring it back. Did you see how fucking fast that was? Like this is the this is the this is supposed to be a loving community, and this is how they're getting down. That's why I said they don't represent themselves. They don't represent themselves well enough to be making the complaints that they make. They don't contribute enough to make the complaints that they make. You know what I'm saying? But they don't represent themselves well enough to, you know what I'm saying, be getting all of this goddamn, to be handled so delicately. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're supposed to be so delicate to the ass. You know what I'm saying? But this is how they get down. This is this is see this is this is them at the nighttime, man. How off the drugs? This is why they gotta go to jail, man. I want to see them go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Don't put them and put them motherfuckers with the hitters. Don't give them their own wing or nothing like that. No, put the motherfuckers in population with the motherfucker. Get you want to be a murderer? Put them with the murderers. You want to be a pervert? Put him with the perverts. <laughs> bruh. 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 These motherfuckers savage, man. These motherfuckers savage, man. I don't even know why. What we need a trial for? 
Niggas need to go right to jail. Need to put them right in prison right now. Put these perverts in prison. Don't don't ha- don't handle them with with, uh, with with delicacy. This is man, and this the community man, and they never have a representative speak up for their community when they, when they fuck shit pops up. I'm gonna go in a lot of shit. I got the Jeffrey Dahmer video coming tomorrow. We go, we go, we we know we're gonna show you the dark side of these people. Cause see, they wanna come at us. They're always talking about what we don't do and oh, we discriminate against them and we're violent and they, they, they. like y'all just as peaceful motherfuckers. Y'all in that motherfucking uh 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 Jeffrey pub getting high shit, and y'all ain't just smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? Y'all doing y'all y'all doing all types of shit. Heroin, goddammit, nigga. Y'all slipping each other roofies and all types of shit, man. We're gonna talk about this shit, though. Y'all fighting this motherfucker, say, I got something for y'all ass. So he must have just got his ass whooped. You know? And then he came back on bullshit. This is crazy, y'all. Ran just ran through them people, man. Now, let a straight person that had came over there and was fighting them or whatever like that. All of them, they all they disagreements that they having right now. If a straight person came over there and said, Man, what the fuck are y'all goof at? They'd be like, excuse me, what did you say? They all stop the bickering and attack the straight person in unity. See, they only unify when it's time to attack the straight man. The same like the black woman. The same like the white woman. I t- that's why I tell you it's very, it's very important that you know as a black man, nobody loves you. Nobody's going to help you and you get no second chances and you'll get no sympathy. Know that. I just took away all your excuses. So now anything that happens, you're accountable for it. Because you have no excuses. Your first defense as a black man, that strength is going to be pushed. Your first defense is going to be Push to the worst extent. Okay? And once you join the LGBTQ, you will no longer be a black man. You be then become a black person in white... In, I'm sorry, you'll become a white woman in black skin. But just know... You know what I'm saying? That none of this shit is 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 is, is gonna help you as a black man. The rules are, they, the rules are totally different for you. So don't cry. Stop crying. Stop protesting. You know, I had a debate with uh, one of my homies yesterday. I said, man, black folks, the we so dumb. We over here fighting for equal justice for criminals. Equal justice for criminals. So he, he say, so should he, the nigga say to me, so shouldn't I be able to do the same crime as a white person and get the same time as a white person? I was like, yeah, in a perfect world, but you know it won't happen. So why get mad about it and why even participate? If I know the game is rigged and this nigga cheats all the time, why would I play with him? Why even participate in the game? See that Martin Luther King mindset. I, no, I still want to be in the game, though. I 
Sasha Usher had a right to be in their game. It's their game. They made it up. They made the rules. Nigga, they don't want you to win. Can't you get that? So we got motherfuckers. We arguing about stupid shit. Just like them. They want to be included everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But y'all got your own shit. Y'all got your gay awards. Y'all got gay clubs. Y'all got gay areas. Y'all got everything. Y'all got y'all got your own channel on cable. If we said this is a straight man only channel, that motherfuckers would be shooting us down right now. But we argue about we argue about some dumb ass shit, man. I'm like we argue, but that, that's why we behind the eight ball. We sitting over here worried about the fairness of criminals being treated. I don't give a fuck. You hold on, you hold on, hold on. You think I give a fuck whether if I hit some motherfuckers and this in this game motherfucker hit some motherfuckers if he get ten years and I get fifteen. First of all, I'm not even going to play that goddamn game. I'm not going to be riding around hitting motherfuckers. I'm not even concerned to even entertain the thought of that. So, but why am I worried about that? Worrying about that is why niggas are set back. <laughs> you know, like, this is the dumb, we fight, we fight the dumb fight. We fight the dumbest fights. Oh my God. And they will talk, man. You, you get to talk to these niggas. I was like, you know one thing about black folks? One thing about black folks that is different from Jewish folks. Jewish folks been through the Holocaust. They've been through hell. We've been through slavery. They just rose and overcome and stuck together and got their business handled. We articulate and blame our failures. We over articulate and blame our failures. We pass the blame to white people on why we're failing. We take no accountability. You know what I'm saying? And we and we and we want them to give us shit instead of getting out here and going to go get some shit. We take we take advantage of no opportunities. You know what I'm saying? And we sit around and we're we're, we're we, we get educated, niggas get educated and can tell you everything bad about white folks. They, they, they literally made a market for it. It's called the conscious community. Where you can sit around and talk about white folks all day. <laughs> and white folks is not thinking about you. They at the, they at the Cavs game. Go LeBron! <laughs> you sitting around. Black power! Soon as your baby mama get mad, white man pop up with the cuffs. And you get real quiet. Yes, sir. You know this is fucked up, queen. But we ain't gonna get into that, man. Let's get back on these motherfucking uh pervs. Let's get back on these pervs. They fight. Woo! Woo! Oh man! That takes that's a level of evil right there. That's evil. And I, I, I want, this is what I want. This is what I want from the uh, the pervert community, man. I want y'all to start proving y'all not evil. See, let's, let's bring back the word evil. You know, 
prove to us that y'all not evil. Because as of lately, man, it's been a lot of evilness coming from your community. And it, like I said, y'all got that flag. Who's the gay president? Who's the gay president? I want to talk to them. Because, because when, okay, because when shit go bad in Chicago, Lori Lightfoot got to step up and talk about it. You know what I'm saying? You know, or the police superintendent got to come talk about it. Who has to step up and talk about the motherfucking uh, 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 transgenders, uh, 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 the the the, uh, the 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 homosexuals? Who's gonna talk about the sexuals, man? You know, we need we need to put them on trial, man. They got to get put on trial for their indecencies and crimes against humanity. These people are evil. Evil. The only reason why this person did that because they know they just felt like they was above the law. And that's the one thing about it. They feel like they above the law. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. 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 That's crazy. When a person can knock you a block away, and then this motherfucker had the nerve to do this shit in their cousin's car. That's shot town bullshit, man. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, man. They see that's what I'm saying. They need to start locking their ass up. And he was already a convicted. I wonder what he got locked up for. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these motherfuckers become repeat offenders, man. It, 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 it's just crazy. Like, like, like we were talking about a hate crime, right? Talk about hate crime. And no, like I said, when they do things to each other, okay, I guess it's not a hate crime, right? But when they do shit to us as straight people, why they don't consider that a hate crime? Why they don't consider what what uh, what uh, 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 Sydney Star did to Chingy? Why they don't consider that as a hate crime? They need to put her pervert ass, his pervert ass, in Cook County in jail. Put him in jail, man. Like that's a sex crime. Am I not lying? Like. What what that what that man did to Chingy? That's a damn hate crime. Because from the definition, it said, you know, hold on, let's go back. Let's go back. Say a crime typically one involving violence that is uh motivated by prejudice or on a bias. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, on the basis of race, religion, sexual orientation, or other grounds. So, look. They prejudge, prejudge us, so they prejudge straight people, and they do things to straight people. So, we're opposite. So, the loser should, you know what I'm saying, the victim should be able to say, hey, man, it's a hate crime. But they never get charged with hate crimes. You don't hear about LGBTQ getting charged with hate crimes. You know? They get away with everything, man. They get away with everything, yeah. But check this out. This is going this is going this is this right here. This is a a a a a a, a homosexual, a perv um doing a hate crime against a straight man. And you're gonna get so dirty, Virginia has left at this venue. I'm not paying you no attention because you're not a threat to me. You are him, but if you keep disrespecting me, I'm supposed to have trade. You're not a threat.
They always argue. They're not a peaceful people. Again, that's why I avoid them. They would never, they would never, I would, no violence. I'm not telling you. I'm, I'm telling you my method. I'm don't get violent with them. Don't let, I don't want to be around you. I don't want to encounter you. You're not a peaceful people. You're not a well-behaved people. They do not behave well. They conduct themselves worse than goddamn black women. You know? Transgender. I'm not worried about it. Mama got it. Mama, you got it. Again, too. Like I tell you, it's a lose lose. If you beat up one of them, it's a hate crime, and they're gonna be like, "Why are you picking on the gays?" If you lose, you got your ass beat by a gay. Stay away from the gay. Stay away. That's a. This is a very simple, very simple concept. Just stay away. And everything will be okay. <laughs> The gay hit him with the mace. These are the most peaceful people, right? There's some peaceful people. Just mace them. You know what I'm saying? Now watch this. Oh! Y'all need to see the dark side of these people. That's what we're going to start doing. We're going to start showing you the dark side of these people. You see what I'm saying? So when any, anytime you hear about, oh, they're the victims and they're being oppressed, bullshit. They are using their immunity and they are cheating with it. You know what I'm saying? Because the moment, if he would have lost, he'd have been, he'd been crying in the offices and he'd have been charged dude with a hate crime. That's why I tell y'all it's better to just walk away from them motherfuckers and leave them alone. Leave them alone. This is fucking bogus. No, no, no. You are you listening. listening. I'm going to show you. Why? I'm going to show you why. Oh! Told now, what? <laughs> You don't get no props for that Charleston white ass shit. That shit bogus as hell. That shit bogus as hell. You don't get no props for that shit, bro. Give me my fucking chance. Give me my. What's that? What's that? What's that? Savage man. 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 Man, you know your eyes gotta be burning from that shit. I remember I wanted to just try out some mace, and I uh, I sprayed it, um, I sprayed it in like a bucket of water, and it still hit me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, whoa! I was 
fucked up. I was fucked up. I'm in the crib, rolling around on the floor. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Like May say, though, he better than me. Because if I would have been walking around, they would have been able to run my pocket. They'd have been able to do anything. I would have been my fucking eyes. Nigga, I got allergies. Now my eyes hurt. Shit. Listen, listen, y'all stop. I give, I give Cuz his props though. He got heart. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't gonna take that. He wasn't gonna take that one, bro. But that Mace though. Come on, man. Stop, stop, stop. I'm about to Listen, I can't. niggas is not. They, these niggas are not nice people, man. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man. That's why I just avoid them. I avoid them. They just, they need to be in prison. Now, see, man, see, that's what I'm saying, man. And they be having all this sympathy for these motherfuckers, man. They be out here starting shit, man. They be out here starting shit. I wish I could wear a fucking GoPro cam on my forehead and just walk around and show y'all the shit in the streets going on, man. These niggas is wild as hell, man. These niggas wild as hell, man. You know? Hold on, what we got? Oh, this shit so fucked up. These motherfuckers, these perverts need to go to prison now. Look at this shit, y'all. Oh man, we we perverts in prison. Hashtag pervs in prison. Like in Superman shirts, mother and daughter are booked into the Stevens County Jail. So wait, so wait, they married each other? She in the right mind to marry their mom. The mother and daughter married? Like in super Dressed alike in Superman shirts, mother and daughter are booked into the Stevens County Jail. So wait, so wait, they married each other? She in the right mind to marry their mom. The mother and daughter married each other? Yeah. Huh. Patricia and Misty Spann married earlier this year. A DHS and police investigation revealed this pair is actually mother and daughter, blood relatives who somehow married in Comanche County. I'm telling you right now, with the white woman being God and her pushing this evil ass agenda, you're going to have to start pretty soon. It's going to be they're going to be fighting for it. You're going to add the I to the L alphabet nation. And the I is going to be incest. They are going to legalize incest. I'm telling you now. It, listen. Like, they are... You thought the trans gentleman movement was crazy. You're not ready for an incest movement. You're not ready for that incest movement. It's coming. They fighting for it. And when they win, because the white woman's God, like I told you, her record is going to be expunged. See, they trying to prove a point to y'all right now. You know what I'm saying? They trying to see, what they trying to do is, let me, let me zoom in real quick, man. What this community is trying to do is show you how far they can take evil and get away with it. None of the things that they do or complain about actually helps humanity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or helps society or helps the government or helps, you know, the, uh, the economy. It only helps push evil. So I just want them to, I, I would love one of their representatives to tell me how you all are not evil. How are y'all not evil? God damn. 
Patricia Spann lost custody of Misty and two other children when they were young. They're adopted by their grandmother. Patricia Spann insisted to investigators she didn't have contact with her kids until two years ago. And when she reunited with Misty Spann, her daughter, they hit it off. Yeah, more she hit it off with her own daughter. Put her in prison. Put her in prison. But, but here's the kicker, y'all. Here's the kicker, y'all. You got to put them in separate prisons. You got to put them in separate prisons. They cannot be in the same prisons. They got to be in se separate prisons. You cannot have your mama and the daughter bumping pussies. Your pussy. Hey, bring the camera son. Bring the camera. All the young girls who want to make life with pussy, your pussy will perish with you in hell. May your pussy perish with you. May your smooth pussy, creamy pussy, and tight pussy perish with you. So, when the new letter comes out, these bitches gonna have two letters. They gonna have the L and the I. Okay? And that ain't no goddamn lie. That shit crazy, man. You gonna eat your mama from the bike! Eat your mama from the bike! <laughs> Eating the methamphetamine out that ass. What the fuck? The fuck? Put them in prison. These are sickos. They're sick. This fucking sick. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Stuff happens in small towns and people know. Paige Watson knew Misty Span from high school. When I went to school with her, she had a girlfriend, and they both worked at Sonic. Oh, she was already gay. She was already gay. She was already licking him from the bike. People in the front yard of the Span's home ran inside once they saw News Channel 4 pull up. Neighbors say the Spans are new to the block. Court records show an annulment between Patricia Span and her son in 2010. This bitch that married her son! You put this perv in prison! You divorce your son to marry... <laughs> wow! Wow. They were married for two years. Well, I don't know if incarceration. Uh... Oh, my God. This guy, he needs to be in prison. Put this pervert in prison. Put this perv. I don't know if you're not. Yes. Get these pervs off the street. Is, is really going to teach them anything. But um... no. Fuck teaching them. Get the pervs off the street. <laughs> no pervs on the street. Uh, there, there should be some sort of punishment or uh, deterrent. Crazy, bro. Crazy, man. Crazy, man. Look, man, y'all want to get to these calls, man. Let's do this shit, man. We take some quick calls, man. You know, we on a late night. Little pop-up show for y'all. Little pop-up show for the church. Little pop-up show for the church. You know what I'm saying? I got y'all punk ass niggas. I got y'all. You know what I'm saying? Even though y'all don't fuck with me like that. I got y'all still though. I got y'all, man. Y'all did all right. Y'all been doing all right, man. I got y'all punk ass niggas. Look at demo. Look at demo. Look, look, oral sex. Oral sex demo. You see oral sex. Look, oral sex. Look, 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 look. You, you oral sex. You oral sex. Let that sperm of that man out. Out. Out, you demo. Out. Let, let go, let go, let go. Let go. You delivered me 
two Sundays back, then a demon came with his penis and put it in my mouth. And and then he tried, he came again and he slept with me last week. And I, I told the, the pastor that I need deliverance again. And since then, my private part has been itching. It's been itching. Yes. Okay. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Speak. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Look at that demon. 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 Who are you? Who are you? Speak. Speak out. Who are you? Who are you? Jesus. You demon can help you. Yeah. Come up from the private part. You, you in her private part. Demon in the private part. Watch what happens. Fire! 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 Come out from the private. Come out from the private. Come out from the private. Come out. Out. From the private. Go. 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 What is your name? Rosman. Rosman Daniel. Rosman Daniel. Mm -hmm. What happened to you today? So you prayed for, you delivered me today, and then when I went to the bathroom, I think 15 minutes later, uh, some white stuff came out with, with the blood after you sprayed. Oh, come on, somebody. After I spray with the water, yes. after I spray, something yeah. came out white. Yes. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. May your healing and deliverance be permanent in Jesus' name. Come on and give the glory to Jesus. This is crazy. This is crazy, man. Listen, I got the lines open, man. Um, Y'all want to call in. We live 563-999-3641. I know it's late night. This ain't usually my time. Matter of fact, let me go get some shit for my eyes real quick. Give me one second, church. Give me one second, church. Give me one second, church. God damn. Shit. Giving praises to God. Thank you so much for inviting us into your home. I'm Bishop Magic Wand, founder and pastor of the Magic World Christian Kingdom Church. And at this time, I'd like to share Psalms 31, 51 with you. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, Blot out thy transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil. All right. Woo. Shit. But yeah, man, we got to put him in prison, man. We got to put them in prison, man. I'm, I'm not going to stop rapping on these pervs. This per, them pervs in that community, man. They community about to get this work. I'm, we got to start showing the dark side of them, man. Because everybody just highlight them like they just so great. And they always, like they always supposed to be right. Everything they do is right and righteous. You know, everything that they do has got some type of deep cause, some deep rooted cause. They've never helped anybody. They only help themselves. They've never helped anybody. You know? You can't depend on them in your community. You can't depend on these motherfuckers to, you know, come fix the ills of, of the black community. And hell no, nah, they, they don't pop up with shit. Black Lives Matter was something trendy. Black Lives Matter was some shit that was trendy at Starbucks. 
You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That was some shit for Starbucks Warriors. You know? You like, hey, you with the latte, you want to do something for the cause? Yeah. Hey, I'm, uh, we, we, we're, we're joining the Black Lives Matter movement. Bunch of white people telling me about Black Lives Matter. Man, if you don't stop this shit, I don't go, I don't go marching for the Holocaust. That ain't my goddamn business. I ain't gonna march against it either. Whatever, that's y'all shit. I don't got nothing to do with it. You know, I'm not fucking marching for the uh for the dreamers and the and the immigrants and the Mexicans. That's their business. I'm staying clean out of it. That's why you had to know it was something shaky. And that's another thing, too, with the Black Lives Matter shit. So many of them motherfuckers from uh, uh from the sexual community was putting on masks and wearing Black Lives Matter t-shirts and fucking up the community. You know what I'm saying? And going right back to the nifty little uh two-bedroom apartments on the north side of Chicago, wherever the fuck you be on in New York, or wherever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? They was coming out of the ghetto and going back with their Starbucks lattes and their fucking MacBooks. And blogging about it and feeling like they're doing something good, taking a picture. They did all that shit for a photo op. We had to do all the cleaning up. So fuck the gay community when they come in my community because they don't do anything to help. You know what I'm saying? They still talk about they oppressed, oppressed. They ain't oppressed shit. Oppress these nuts. Oppress these nuts. Fuck ass out of here, man. These niggas is wild. All they do is violence. Violence. You know? Ooh, Atlanta. Atlanta. But they, and they always say love is love. Love is love. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I seen that shit, Joe Biden. Oh my God. We gonna get into that. I got some work for all that shit. I know what you're talking about. I, I know exactly what you're talking about, player. Let's check him out, though. So respectful. They call each other great names of encouragement, endearment. Bitch. Just jiggling and gay. <laughs> this is, I ain't gonna lie, man. I will be scared as hell at this gas station. I will, I will fucking run. I'm like, fuck this shit. Come on, baby. We gotta go. Goddamn sections out there. They having a motherfucking sexual madness out here. Goddamn, it's a goddamn sexual brawl out here. The brawl of the sections. The brawl of the sections. That's it. That's it. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Bitch, welcome to Atlanta where the players play and they beat ass like every day. Hey, Ebony. Yeah, uh, I just decided that I won't be moving to Atlanta. I'm good. Too many sections. And they're violent sections. I want no dealings. Skittle thugs. Sister. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta get out the head. Let's watch from the sideline. I'm trying to get the shit. 
I'm in fucking Atlanta, y'all. It's wild out here. You probably smell like booty and hair grease over there. And this this is who this is who I'm supposed to handle with delicacy and make sure I don't say the wrong thing. Well, I probably would make sure I don't say the wrong thing because you can imagine getting tech. Like if you ever seen the chimpanzees, go to the nature channel and watch the chimpanzees and how they get down. I don't want to get drugged around because they they I, I, they'll fuck me up, man. Walk away. I would I'm I'm not lying to you, man. I see a pack of these motherfucking uh 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 uh, uh sex your monkeys, man. I'm running. I'm running for the fucking hills, nigga. You be like, you ain't never seen a nigga take off that fast, boy. Cigarettes at Mustang. Girl, this is a showdown. We in Atlanta tonight, baby. This is Atlanta. <laughs> I like the crimson her hair. That's real cute. You know that lady from Fulton County? What's the lady from Fulton County? Um, goddamn. The one who is trying to indict everybody on RICO charges and getting all the gangs off the street. You know what I'm saying? And getting all the, uh, get hitting Young Thug with the Rico charge, get Gunner, all of them to wide sell, locking all of them up. She need to get at this community. She need to get at this community with a vengeance. Her name, what, what'd you say? Fanny, Fanny Willis? Fanny Willis? Yes. She needs to get at their ass. You know what I'm saying? She need to get at that because they terrorize the city too. You know what I'm saying? You want to clean the city up? They better be the next, they better be her next motherfucking project. She, they, she's like, get them off of Piedmont. Get them off of P Street. They got to go, nigga. Take that chick. Don't come to Fulton County, motherfucker. <laughs> Fanny Wilson, yeah, whatever her fucking name is, you know what I'm saying? She's doing what she's supposed to do. That's what Lori, that's what she's doing what you thought Lori Lightfoot was. <laughs> no, no, she's doing what you thought Lori Lightfoot was going to be. But she ended up becoming Lori Lightfoot ended up becoming Chicago's Joe Biden. I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at her at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at her at all. <laughs> I'm laughing at it, actually. You niggas got millions of dollars and y'all want to go gangbang. Okay. <laughs> okay. You want to fuck up Black Hollywood. Okay. Okay. You want to fuck up Black Beverly Hills. Okay. Okay. See, I don't even want to come down there. Until she get these niggas up, until she get these motherfuckers. Until she get them, these niggas here, until she get their ass up out of there, I'm not, I'm not even coming back to visit. Because there's too many of these motherfuckers walking around Lenox Mall too. Don't get it twisted. They don't go in Phipps, but they definitely be in Lenox Mall. No, I'm so hot like that. Oh, 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 there they go, there they go, uh oh, there go the fighting, you know what I'm saying, oh, look at this loving community, look at this rainbow, the rainbow, the 
rainbow. Okay. Put them in prison, please. Put them in prison, please. That needs to be a shirt. Put them in prison, please. Hey, you don't even want to. You don't even want to go to Lennox because it's so much bussy in the room. You know, you like God damn. They didn't let the, they didn't let the LGs in the dough. God damn. This bush queen is trying to These are men running up and up in each other too. That's <laughs> But they're not peaceful people. Stop lying to the world. They have no plight. You kiss their ass so much, now they're just tearing up shit. And when one of them get killed, there's going to be a hate crime. We got to cut the bullshit. They are a terrorist group. They are a gang now. They are a mafia. Prosecute them. Give them the Rico and send them to prison. <laughs> now put them in prison please fight, fight a pimp for me <laughs> baby Atlanta live tonight bitch I'm here on the right night bitch <laughs> these niggas have got sticks they are literally chimpanzees I'm about to go watch Animal Planet after this. Oh my God. And this is what this is what the product of the, of the uh, a single motherhood. These are members of the hookup culture, the rave culture, the the pill popping, the yeah, coke lines and all that. Girl, the girls are carrying it. Ooh, bitch. You look like a They is carrying his hammers, This Did this nigga just say that these niggas is catty? Ow. Children and boys. These goof ass motherfuckers gonna sit back and smoke a blunt and watch this goof ass shit. I'm telling you, man. Put them in prison, please. I want to see more of these pervs in prison where they fucking belong. I had the lines open. I guess you niggas is asleep. It is late night on a Sunday. I know you motherfucker got to go to work for the white man. 
You know what I'm saying? But follow me on Truth Social at Minister Jap. Follow me on uh, Instagram, Minister Jap Network, Minister Jap Church, Minister Jap Church, Minister Jap Page on Facebook. Also follow me on Twitter at the Minister Jap. Um, ministerjap.com for all Minister Jap merchandise, t-shirts, hats, sexual. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else? We, what else we working with? What else we working with? Oh yeah, uh, church check in single uh, on iTunes, Apple Music, and Spotify. You know what I'm saying? Download. It's only a dollar and some change. And last but not least, man, sign up for the Patreon. It's only five dollars right now. Join the Patreon. Get access to over. Hundreds and hundreds of I, I've got so many fucking videos on there. You get the archive of this shit. I've been doing this shit. I'm going on almost nine years now. So y'all getting this real work, man. But hey, man, I wanted to do a little pop up show. I'm gonna start doing these late night pop up shows for y'all, man, just to keep y'all in tune, man. But I appreciate y'all fucking with me like I fuck with you. Uh, put them in jail, and your pussy shall perish with you. And hell. I'm gonna give y'all a chance to hear Brother Ren sing, and then we gonna shout out all the cash apps. <gasps> Minister Jack, <laughs> you already know, man. Church is definitely in the building. They okay. fucking with me, though. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch here. Yeah. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch, that's church on the bitch. Church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, cheer, church on the bitch, cheer, church on the bitch, okay, church on the bitch, cheer, church on the bitch, 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 Minister Jack, it's a new era and niggas is chat. I'm in the kitchen, I'm cooking this crack. Bitch getting taxed in my Benjamin static. Truck in the front and the engine in back. Three K's, everything I'm whipping in is black. Three holes all wanna sit on my lap. High yellow heifer, I'ma hit her from the back. This is a fact. I'm taking your bitch, I'm not giving her back. Bitch got some kids, I'm not dealing with that. The back of her throw where my children is at. Now it's really the neck. Her mama's a hoe and her sister's a rat. The head was amazing, the pussy was trash. Run up on church and then pistol gon' blast. Get your ass body trying to get to this bag in the church. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch here. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch, that's church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, see church on the bitch, see ya, church check in, uh, church on the bitch, oh, church on the bitch, see church on the bitch, church on the bitch, yeah, church on the bitch, listen, church check in, let's go. Relinquish the bitch You loving and cuffing to be with the bitch She came in with you But I leave with the bitch I bang and I bang and I skeet on the bitch They be like Jabba conceited and shit I push it to start Ain't no key to my whip Believe in the game Don't believe in the bitch I listen to sin And the rest of the pips You chasing the bitch And ain't chasing the check You look like a bitch When you making them threats You talk how you talk Cause you stay from the net When I see you No talking I'm breaking your neck Catch a nigga like I do him dirty on sight Whole lot of bargain But I bet he won't bite Better nigga won't Roll the dice with his life Double cross church Get crucified twice Nigga black Church check in, 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 church on the bitch here. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch, that's church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, see church on the bitch, see ya, church check in, uh, church on the bitch, oh, church on the bitch, see ya, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, her church check in, let's go. Minister Jap, I'm talking to you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I got a kid. I got, I got two daughters and a son. Yeah, man.
Black women are bad mothers. And that's why you having a baby by the motherfuckers you had a baby with is your fault. That's why you being a single mother is your fucking fault. That's why being a baby daddy ass nigga is your fault. Live from the church. Church check in. It's Minister Jack. Black women, they're some of the most worst bitches on with money, but yet they're still taking trips and they look fly doing. They are the flyest, broken bitches you're gonna ever deal with. On Minister Jack TV. Church check in, man. Church check in.